Hello and welcome back. It's G22 here and we're back for another episode of Sonic Mania on behalf of the Gaming Odyssey and we are in uh, Oil Ocean Zone. Now I do know that there is one. Uh, I do know that there's one uh, ring. The only thing is, how do I get to it? And of course the trick is trying to remember where it was. Or how to get to it, rather. And of course, as well as making sure I don't get hit overall. There we go. And if I'm not mistaken, the ring is up here. If I can direct myself there, thank you. There it is. There's the ring. Alright, let's try this again. And let's see if we can get all six Chaos Emeralds. Again, make sure you don't fall through the cracks, and and make sure you speed up when you can. There we go. So far, so good. Alright, now, now we're going fast, so let's just make sure we get some rings while we're at it. There we go. Alright, much better. Much better. I mean, the reason for this being the toughest is that you have sharp angles and you have to jump at an angle uh, and redirect yourself before you fall off and you lose control. And that's why they made this the toughest of all of them. Got him! And we have all the Chaos Emeralds, baby! And now Sonic can be Super Sonic! So, once you collect all the Chaos Emeralds, you cannot play the bonus stages anymore, but... You can be Super Sonic. It's very simple, you have to get 50 rings and then you press the jump button twice in order to activate Super Sonic. There we go. But uh, the good news is at least I won't have to go out of my way to find the rings anymore. But I'll try to show off as many rings as I can. But now we can just play the game normally. And, uh, somewhere down the line I'm gonna have to show you, uh, uh, Tails as well as Knuckles. Um, whether it be on my channel, Much Games Guides, um, or, or even, well, I actually still have a, a Let's Play on Insomania game, which is, uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. So, if you're interested in that particular, uh, game, uh, do check out, uh, Insomania game or my own channel because uh, it's dual casted there. So if you're interested in uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, uh, go ahead and check that out if you like. Although I'm getting hit from everywhere. Ooh, nice. And just like that, I lose all my rings. Or most of them, anyway. Yeah, those enemies are very uh, tough to, to judge. So you're better off just uh, waiting for them to shoot and then hit them. Or, or attacking them, I should say. But I do want to show off what Sonic or Super Sonic can do. Because once you get Super Sonic, the rest of the game is very, very easy to do. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It just makes the rest of the game uh, a joke, if you will. Okay. Oh, okay, so I couldn't go up there. But of course it's easier to do it if you're Tails or, or Knuckles. Got him. Also, watch out for this, um, for that. It's, those are spikes, by the way. 
But yeah, I'm so relieved now that I got all the Chaos Emeralds. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how to get them as Sonic, because, you know, that's the guy that you, you, you picked when you paid for this game. You wanted to play as Sonic. But I'm, I'm so happy that they added the ability to play as Tails and Knuckles. Like, I thought, you know... Oh! Here's this boss. Now, normally what you're supposed to do is... Well, not attack him from from the bottom. That's for sure. Well, I was about to demonstrate... Uh, Super Sonic, but I missed. And, of course, you want to make sure you don't hit those his wrench. But also, stand in the middle. The middle, too. Because if you stand in the others, uh, on top of the other ones... Uh, you'll get in you'll get impaled by the spikes and you will die So keep that in mind But if you hit him enough times you should be able to beat him No problem All right, so that's the end of act one Okay now this one has a bit of a sub gimmick because uh, the air starts to lose quality and you you won't be able to see very well. So uh, whoa, man! I talk about going into the fire and into the flame, man. But anyway, okay. Well, I can't go down there. All right. All right. So just push this and then. It'll launch you up. And I... And thankfully I have the flame shield, and that can help you, um... While you're in the... Um... In the oil with fire in there. But yeah, these switches, they... They make it so you can see better. So push this... And of course, just game. Yeah, just swim up. That's how you get it. And so yeah, just just keep hitting the switches so that way you can see what you're doing. And just like that, I lost the shield. But you can swim up this uh, thing of um, oil to get up there. Alright, just I'm, I wanted to get rid of that enemy because he was just going to be annoying. Alright, hit the switch. Good. Oh, well that was another way you can... Ooh, nice. Ah, okay, that was a... Well, that was kind of my fault there. I kind of got a little too careless there. Alright, hit this. Of course, it is kind of like a maze, so it just becomes a matter of trial and error. But okay, I think we're back on the right path, and... Alright, invincibility time. Well, I tried to get up there, but I couldn't. But yeah, with the fire shield, it can set these, um... It can set things on fire. It can set the oil on fire, is what I was trying to get at. Alright, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, just stand on top of this. Oh. Well, I missed time my jump there. Alright, hit this again. But yeah, I, I just like how this game incorporates some of the things that came in the classics while adding something new on top of that. That's why I like this game is that, you know, you don't have to remember how the classics work. You could just pick up and play and then you'd be able to pick it up just like that. So they don't expect you to know everything from the classics just so you can play it. In fact, they kind of make it easy for you to play. Of course, you have to play it enough to be able to know how it works, but aside from that, though, I mean, anything that you can do in, in, in a game like Sonic Mania, man, you can do it. Oh, and another thing I should mention is, um, shoot, let me go up here. Another thing is that because of this, um, well, now that the visibility has been lowered, uh, you can't quite see where you're going. Oh, there's the switch. There we go. And of course... Okay, yeah, I, that was kind of stupid. But yeah, like, like I said, this place is kind of a maze, so... And of course it would be easier if you could see where you're going. Oh, there we go. I didn't know where to go. Hit the switch. Alright, I guess we can play a little minigame, why not? But yeah, this was, uh, surprisingly, this was uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles' uh, bonus game to get the uh, Chaos Emeralds in that game. But in this game, it's just uh, a simple game. I guess they added it so that as you do, as you do more of these stages, uh, you can unlock more stuff, like, um, like more options to the game, things like that. Okay, that was kind of stupid. I, I didn't know where to, where to go, so... Ah. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to activate it right now. You have to press the jump button twice. And then, when you do this, when you go into supersonic mode, you become invincible. However, it comes at the cost of draining your rings, because... For every second that goes by, you lose a ring, and when you get to zero, uh, then you lose supersonic. So in order to hold on to it, you have to get rings. Uh, it's as simple as that. Alright, there we go. And uh, what's funny is that they changed uh, the supersonic theme. Uh, they didn't revert back to the older supersonic or hypersonic, hyper tails themes that they used in uh, some of the older games. Uh, they decided to go with something new, so they didn't just rely heavily on the old stuff. And of course, if you want to turn off your powers without going down to zero rings, uh, you just simply go through a checkpoint and play the, vi the and play the mini game. Uh, I can't even talk these days. But yeah, that's how you disactivate it, uh, deactivate it, uh, without losing, uh, all your rings. Uh, so that's how you can do it safely, is what I was trying to get at. Nice, so far so good. Okay, this is where I left off. There we go. I hope I didn't miss anything, though. Wow, just absolute stupidity on my part, but... Oh well. If 
I'm not mistaken, this is the boss. Yep. And normally the way you're supposed to attack him... Alright, we'll get on top of here. But also... Don't get shot. Yeah. You duck when you need to, and you jump when you need to. And also t attack these uh, things that look like buttons for whatever reason. And just like that, I'm all down to one ring. Oh, and also watch out for sneak attacks like that by ducking or jumping. Okay. And then, of course, keep attacking that thing. Okay, well, at least I got rid of that. That's good. Just duck. When in doubt, just duck at first, and then go from there. Okay, that was kind of stupid. I, I dashed when I did not intend to do that. So far, so good. Let's start. Let's get this off right. Yes, finally! I mean, it's like I said, it's not that hard of a boss, it's just a cheap one at that, but... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But finally we got through it. I'll have to cut out all the fails, but... Oh my gosh, that one was very annoying. But before we go, uh, this is a preview to our next one. Lava Reef Zone, and you'll see that on the next show. Until then... We'll be back.